each other's. Winning this one actually plays a big role in how the rest of that tour, your final standings are going to be looking like. It could just be Felt and Dog Champ somewhere nearby in points from each other's, but this one win could be the divider. Could be. So, so in terms of the pure and some creeps for DM here, and they're going to go. They are going to go, and maybe it might lead into a kill as well. Solji is slowed up by both the Reflection and from the Crystal Nova, and that last right click, it's not enough. And maybe the Crystal Nova, Nova will do. Boom. Oh, he was outside of cast range, but the AoE is enough. So be better than I thought it would, really putting the pressure on to hit immune. He's constantly having to retreat. Maybe a kill onto Albino Zebra too. The Frost Shield's gonna soak up some of the damage, but not everything. He was playing the 404. He's got three points in power shot this time versus the Puck, so he's got the capability of pushing the wave, making sure he gets the CS even at the longest of distances. Well, Fade, he's gone a fair distance here. DNM chasing him through, and one, two more hits. Nope, just one needed. The regeneration from the Ring of Health is not going to be enough. Meanwhile, a support battle, which Solji will win this time. And here comes the big Reflection angry demon. Seconds. Oh, oh, he walks the other way around, so he's got no idea. Finally gets to come into the safety of his tower. And now the rotating bottom as well. Maybe they can get a second kill. Solji, Fade, are they awake? Are they woke? Bloody Nine with Moose coming around, taking big hits onto the Rubik. And with that TB, Moose is going to slice him down and get another kill for this bounty hunter. And on to the next one they go. DNM chasing for Fade. No slow, but the Crystal Nova might just be the only one. Sunder oh, play. Sunder. This is something they can work with, but they also saw the Vanguard and that little uh, Firestorm burning in between. Now Kits, he's got a DD rune. He's on the hunt, on the prowl. Power shot to give the vision. No Sunder to fear for this time, and that is looking like a very dead TB to me. Oil comes out as well. Red 2 wanted a piece of this action. They will take down the Lich on the side. Maybe even more. See who's the one to drop next. Moose trying to make a run for it. No vision. The rest of Red Felt. Two? Red 2 still sticking around this area. He's got a lot of stick charges, but that DD rune hurts really much, and he is what? down. Kits for another kill. And Moose is trying to get a retaliation. That's not going to happen either. Blind power shot coming. Go, 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 go. Oh, uh, okay. wrong direction. Here comes CM. Looking for the connection. Moose wanting to get that one hit in. And the moment he reveals himself to the Rubik, Kits could just get a kill. So Moose is going to go for him. When here comes DNM as well. The, and Kits just doesn't have the damage required anymore. So Bloody Nine takes that dominating spree. Jeez. Didn't, didn't last long, but uh, mm -hmm. maybe Moose on Red 2 build a different storyline. They were rotating top, looking at the PL, but it looks like they're coming straight back to mid. Like, okay, the action is here. Red 2, though. Oh, last second phase shift, but not enough distance. A bit slow with the Illusory Orb cast. This mid lane is being pressured quite heavily. Shield placed down. More and more tracks are put down by Moose under a sentry ward, but now the initiation comes out. Bloody Nine on the run. Rod of Atos coming through. Got the freezing field, but it's canceled out. And it's not enough mana for Rubik to steal and cast. Coil up to three. DNM coming with a big punches. That's your wind gone. That's your albino zebra lich gone. That's another track kill going for dog champ. They're up 3,000 gold, so. Okay. Uh, CM still ends up dying. So he was sniped in the back line, but Moos. Oh. 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 Janata hurts. And it actually brought Red 2 to him. So Moos is here now. Looking for the turnaround. The rot comes out. And the focus fire onto the puck as well. He's going to get killed by that sinister gaze in the end. No chance for an escape. But he should have mentioned something. But, uh. Dog Champ, I'm not going to mention a word about this Roshan that they're taking to Felt as they're spread it around the map. You've got three heroes farming jungle technically right now. So that's a free Aegis. The NM's going to be happy to pick that one up. I here, right? and I like it. You like that, yeah. I like that too. Never going to happen. Mute has been spotted. This PL is in massive trouble. He's just dead. <laughs> How easy so was that? I mean, so I do if, like if Dota was game? this easy, it would make everybody want to play it. But they just found the carry. Just not ready this for this either. I've seen this before. Moose trying to locate the right PL, and he's found him as well. 
Into the coil. Silent stop. This PL's not going anywhere. Do they have the damage to finish him off, though? So close to getting another Doppel off. He's got it. But now Moose just needs to get that one good hit in. Doesn't even need it. The Illusory Orb will finish the job. And Red is still hunting for that illusion. While there's another fight breaking loose in the river. Fates bouted out by DNM and Speed. That's a Scotty. And people are dying to the Tormentor. Oh my goodness. This is uh, too much action going on at the same time. Fates going to be <laughs> dropping. And Rubik dying to the Tormentor, but they did finish it off, so Lich picks up the uh, the shard. For Realize that they have eyes. And BKB coming on Courier, it will be and in time. a casual Wind Ranger, okay. Nope. Yeah, that's a, that's a BKB, all right. <laughs> it just arrived. However, Wind Run was used to try and get to base faster. They don't have a way of taking it off. Tier 3 tower is going to get punctured, taken down. DNM still in the front. Has that Aegis. Second life is available. And deep dive coming in from Red 2 into the back line. They got the Lich all straight in there. Just throwing it on an illusion and it's bouncing like 500 units to hit a hero, then bounces another 500 units because it prioritizes heroes. But they see Kits. The scan is hit. Does he it's know? Blink Dagger not the available. First time. It's not the first time this has happened, and he does not have a BKB. There's a portal trying to save him, but no. That portal is going to lead them straight back to a high ground push <laughs> if they decide to take it, but no. Fate was waiting for him. Oh, nice dive. Rubik already dropped very low in HP. Has to have a save for the time being. Red 2 right in between them. Another coil is dropped down. And Solji coming up with the buyback. So that is one. Still a plenty more of buybacks to be used on the other side. Well, two active at the moment. PL can't afford. Underlord can't afford. Coming into the Triangle of Dire. Moose in the front, Red 2's right there, and that's going to be a bounty hunter spotted. It's the BKB. Good reaction from Moose. No play coming out. Oh, the they got the has been located. And that is that just it? It's that literally just it. Hit Mune already on the runaway. They have done zero damage so far. They just tanked and tanked so much. But DNM standing his ground with that Metamorph. He's going to get caught into the Sinister Gaze and still moved around. Going to take down the Lich. A lot of lag coming out, but that PL is not doing anything. Cloud coming in with a buyback on Hidden Mune. Fade trying to keep them away. They also got the Rubik isolated on the side. Red 2 and Moose, of course, coming in to slice and dice for the kill. Take the Underlord out as well. And you know it just as much as you knew it. My man PTP calling it out. Felt. What can Hit and Moon do alone? If he couldn't have his team with him, can he do it by himself? It's been a while since we've seen a hero from Dog Champ die. And can it doesn't look kill like he's even hero? gonna get Bloody Knight. He can't even get him. He can't even get Moose. And now they're ready to turn in the favor. It's gonna get rooted up. Oh, more Lances flying in. Kits coming in for the rescue. DNM using up the cheese. And still has Sunder. And Hit and Moon has to run away. But they have no mana left to catch him. At least the Witch Doctor doesn't. And Kits is on the run. Maledict doing a lot of damage. But that's the last tick coming out as well. They're gonna lose Kits for it. And still on the chase. Red 2 is gonna find it. him. A buyback coming out. The Shackle shot's there. And now Hit and Moon able to get back into the safety of the fountain. But that is a second lane of Rax. Seeing like, oh, they're also channeling. And fade, fade. They're coming, they're coming. No, hold the door. I mean... You can't close the gate as an underlord. You should be able yeah, to. Yeah, they, they're just literally going to come through. And now they target Kits as well. They know he's vulnerable right now. Hexed up as well. And they will look for the kill on the Windrunner. And that is one hero down. That's a second one. Buyback coming out as well. But the Phantom Lancer dealing issues here for Moose. And Moose is about to drop to the Nullifier ticks. You can constantly hear that smack and sound. And he's got a third kill can this game. Can they get game. speed? Maybe they can get Solji. DNM is also onto the side here. Speed, he's still chilling around, giving that regeneration for TV. And now finally getting targeted, but the Death Ward has got that voodoo. Voodoo, voodoo, switch a voodoo going his way. And the supports are struggling with melee creep. Mega creeps at the back line, so they can't even help out the rest of their team. But Hitmune, he's also hit his level 25 timing. So another timing for Felt, but can they utilize it? Red 2, Lincoln's popped. Gonna get frostbitten as well by the 
by the Rubik, and now Speed targeted once again by Hit and Moon, trying to get this kill onto this Witch Doctor, but he's also silenced off and followed up by the rest of the squad. He's running low on mana too, and he can't keep up forever, and that Ancient is now exposed. They have to use the Glyph for it. Bloody Nine, he's down. They got the Crystal Maid, and that's another for Hit and Moon, but that, that Glyph has run now. out, and he's still trying to hold this base, still trying to fight them back. DNM is like, I'm gonna hit the Ancient, guys, but there's a Lich Shield hitting it as well, which they cannot purge away, and they're still trying to fight all the way through. DNM is going to get saved for the time being. An Ancient down to 2k HP. Speed right clicking with that Witch Doctor. I'm about to <laughs> They're going to get it with the cream. Time, but they the GG it. finally comes out.